Hey everyone, John here from the Four Brewers Podcast, and I am back with another beer. Uh, today we're drinking another beer from Bear Republic. This is uh, another beer. This is the second beer in their challenge series. Um, this is number six, Smells Like Citrus IPA. This is made with Amarillo and Mandarina Bavaria hops. Again, uh, late hop additions of four pounds per barrel, which is uh, pretty hefty. Um, this is coming in at 7.0% alcohol by volume. And again, uh, the can art on this is uh, racing inspired, um, just like the last one, which was uh, 10, I believe. Uh, and I, I was kind of confused on the numbering scheme on these when I first tried 10, because you think they'd start at one and just work their way up to whatever number. But it turns out that's not the case. Um, they use a Dungeons and Dragon die and they randomly roll, or they roll to randomly pick a number for the beer. So it's racing themed, and that's the number for like the race car that it's themed after. Uh, so I didn't know that, so now I know. So anyway, let's open this up, check it out. Okay, so this is coming in with a very nice look to it. It's got uh, a nice haze to it that's not too murky or silicone-like. That head looks amazing. It's nice and fluffy and soft. Uh, it's not going away anytime soon. I love seeing that in beers. That's awesome. So yeah, this looks good. It's a it's a kind of a I wouldn't say deep like a medium golden or medium yellow kind of golden ish color. Looks really nice, and I can already smell it coming out of the glass. So see what it smells like. Yeah, that smells like citrus. That smells like big time orange peel, uh, like pithy orange peel, like the bitter orange peel. Um, it's got uh, almost uh, an acidity to it, which I pick up a lot of times. Um, from these hazies that are made on the West Coast. It's, it's, it smells great. It's got kind of a creamsicle thing happening with it too. Uh, that's, uh, again, citrus driven, um, but it does have a bit of like a kind of, not vanilla, but like, you know how if you were to smell like a creamsicle and you get like a soft smell, um, it's kind of vanilla-ish, but it's basically the malts coming through a little bit um, to help lift up the nose. And I think this is made with two row Pilsner and wheat. So uh, smells really good. Again, jumps out of the glass, kind of reminiscent of uh, actually like a Sierra Nevada beer. That's the first thing I thought of was like a Sierra Nevada pale ale, not quite as malt forward as a, a Sierra Nevada pale, pale ale is, but that like kind of whole cone-ish, uh, um, really impactful, deep hop aroma uh, that's got a citrus edge to it. Uh, this is like that, but way more citrus. So uh, I don't know why I thought Sierra Nevada, but that's what I thought of was pale ale from Sierra Nevada. So excellent nose on this. There are no flaws on this nose to speak of at all. This smells amazing. So see what it tastes like. Oh, okay. The flavor follows the nose. Again, I'm thinking Sierra Nevada pale ale on this. It's so weird, but it's not Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. That's just like the, the vibe I get from it. Like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale has its own thing happening. Like it, you can tell when it's a, a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, or at least I think I can. And this guy kind of get that vibe from this. It's so citrus forward, but has like a nice uh, balance to the malt character too, that it's not just uh, this strikingly, you know, fruity orange beer, but yeah, it's got, again, uh, I said it had like a, a pithy kind of orange aroma, uh, a big time aroma, and this has the same thing going on. It's got that kind of bitter bite to it. Uh, it's not too over the top bitter. It's a, it's, it's a hazy and it's got those qualities, but it's definitely a West Coast interpretation of a hazy. But uh, yeah, it's really good, really tasty. I get a candied hop uh, characteristic from this, like, uh, like a crystallized candy sugar kind of uh, citrus flavor happening, kind of like a, a now and later, but like not quite that much candy sugar. You know, it's it's kind of like, I, I don't know, I'm thinking of like a crunchy, like citrus candy. Uh, I can't put my finger on exactly what, but that's what I get from it. Um, body on it, I think is perfect. Uh, it's got a, a pretty soft mouthfeel. Um, and it does finish, uh, I think, where it needs to finish. It's not too dry where it, it kind of feels empty after you swallow or your mouth feels hollow because it's so dried out. Um, that's actually a good way to describe it, hollow. That's the first time I've used that descriptor for super dry, like, um, hazy uh, IPAs. Um, 
But yeah, it doesn't leave your mouth feeling hollow afterwards. You still have some residual like body and sugar, a little bit of a lingering bitterness on there, but uh, fantastic. Uh, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's a great beer. It's uh, again, um, very fruit juice forward, um, but not like, uh, you know, you're not drinking uh, Sunny Delight. You know you're still drinking a beer. Uh, I think they nailed it with the balance between the sweetness, the bitterness, and like the flavor profile of the hops. Um, don't really get a whole lot of the malt character, but I don't really want a whole lot of the malt character on the flavor. I think it comes through in the nose just enough to kind of show its presence. So well done. Uh, I think Berry Public is killing it with this series so far because uh, the two beers I've had, the Challenge Series number 10, I believe, and then the six, they've both been great. And um, they're, you know, I think they're pushing themselves to kind of stand out and, you know, because they're like a more, not I wouldn't say traditional, but they're an older school brewery that's been around for a while that a lot of these other breweries, you know, still haven't stepped up to the plate and, and messed around with this style of beer. And I think Berry Public's doing a really good job. So good job, Berry Public. By the way, they gave me this beer. So thank you, Berry Public. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time. <laughs>